Hello students of Web 1 and Web 2, this is Weston Davidson, bringing you a quick little guide on how to seamlessly blend two faces together. First, find two images you like. I have a picture of Jason Statham and a picture of a dog. As you can see, the two images are very similar in stature and complexion. This will be easy to blend together. Now open the images in Fireworks. Drag the layer you want on top of the other image onto that image, like so. Now change the opacity of that top image to right around 67%. This way you can see both the bottom layer and the top layer very easily. Now resize the image so that the eyes line up with the behind image. This will serve as a guide for later in this tutorial. After doing this, choose your eraser tool and put the opacity at 100% and put the hardness very hard because now we are going to erase all the excess material around the overlying face. Now after we have done this, we must change the opacity down a bit on our layer. I'm sorry, we must change the hardness down a bit on our layer in order to allow, in, in order to um, more seamlessly blend the background face and the top face. We will now race around the edges to provide that blend. Once finished doing that, we will yet again select our eraser tool. This time, we will change the opacity down much lower. And we will also change the softness a bit higher. This will allow us to, uh, yet again, more seamlessly blend the faces together. After doing that, select the clone tool and select the underlying image. We will now erase the eyes on the underlying image to provide the eyes on the top of the image the more dominant look. Use the clone tool to do this with ease. After doing this, review the uh, over image and just sort of mess around with the size to make sure that it is lined up properly. After doing this, go back to the first layer. Here we will now use the eraser tool yet again in order to erase some of the opacity out of the nose area of this dog. This will provide the nose of Jason Satham to be a more dominant figure in the image.
after doing this, as you can see, I am more or less finished with this face. Now, I have a nice new uh, look to spread around the internet. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Goodbye for now.